As soon as you walk into Bonfados, the bell that you hear is from its original store, dating back to 1919. There's a sign from that year too. It was on Guy Bonfado's cash register and is now on display above Dave's world-class espresso machine. Imported from London and of Italian design, the traditional, all-mechanical lever pull machine results in the best tasting coffee possible. Taste of the old world in small town Pennsylvania. Looking around, you will also find rare products that you typically only see in larger cities like Philadelphia. Quality produce and groceries are at the heart of Bonfado's history. That's how it all started back in 1919 as a grocery and home delivery business. Guy Bonfado would take multiple day trips to markets in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Baltimore to make sure he had the best and freshest products. Actually, as David will share, it was on one of his grandfather's many trips back from Baltimore when Guy Bonfado had his fatal car accident. That, that was kind of a story too because he would, he would go to Baltimore uh, in Pittsburgh to pick up his produce and that was a two-day trip to do this and he was on his way back uh, made there's a bend there in Unionville and a kid was on the other side of the road ran him off the road and rolled down his bank embankment and, uh, he went into the hospital and died of his injuries there wow. Uh, what I didn't, I never knew much about that other than that's what happened, but we were, whenever we were open here, a guy came in and he said that he was an old guy. And he, he said that he was uh, part of the crew that helped bring the truck that rolled that my grandfather was killed in up out of this ditch and kind of told me all about where it was and, uh, you know, he said there was stuff all he, he was on his way back, right? Yeah, so you yeah. full load. Yeah, full load. Wow. wow. So that's Guy and Pauline there? Yes. The they both came from a town in Sicily called Rikui, um, which is north of uh, Mount Etna. Mm -hmm. Very small town. They didn't know each other at the town, but their families knew each other. My grandfather came over uh, before 1900 to the United States, and my grandmother came over right around 1907, I think it was. Okay. And uh, they uh, met in Renova. Yeah. That's where they went to, and uh, Renova had a lot of. Uh, train repair, it was like a train repair depot there. Okay. So there was some industry there, and my grandmother, uh, her brothers opened up a uh, produce distribution place there, and my grandfather opened up a small shop in 1915 there, and uh, he, his, my grandmother caught his eye, and he would, he had this little bicycle, and he would, uh, uh, with a basket on the front, and he'd go deliver, uh, fish and whatnot and uh, bring her a rose and she didn't want anything to do with them and then finally he uh, he got her to <laughs> marry him. Uh, he closed his place in Renova in uh, 1917 to go in World War One. Mm -hmm. After he came out of World War One, he asked uh, some produce people, you know, where should I go? I want to open up another store. They said, you got to go to Belfont to have a food booming place in 1919. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure was. So, that's so they're both from Sicily, from the same small town. Yeah. And they happen to go to the same place. Yeah. Uh, wow. And uh, they find each other there. Yeah. Find each other <laughs> in Renault, America that, find each other. That's amazing. <laughs> that's, uh, my grandmother, my grandfather also worked at Ciro. So he worked okay. at Ciro and at the, at the store. And my grandmother worked the store and she would translate letters for the prison who were written in Italian. Mm. So that, uh, you know, they had to kind of censor all the letters and everything. So mm. she did that as well. Wow. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah. So you worked at Ciro in addition to working at the store. Yeah. Um, and just help me, like, time frame. So it started over, over there at the mm. yoga shop. And, and then when did they move over to 
across the street. So in 19, they were there from 1919 until about 1932. Okay. He closed so he could do just um, delivery, uh -huh. um, not with a storefront. He did that till about 1935. Then he needed to have a, wanted to get back in with the storefront. So mm -hmm. they, that's when they moved into the, that white house. Guy and Pauline opened their store across the street from the Bush Arcade block in 1935. With apartments above, an office below, and a pizza shop behind it, this store was located at the present day parking lot of Governor's Pub. In 1978, there was a fire that burned this building down, leaving the footprint and parking lot we see today. Dave and his wife bought the business from his uncle Francis in 1999, and they moved their business to Zion Road about a year later. But it was in 1958 at their store on West High Street that they started making the Bonanza sub in a small room in the back. Dave's Uncle John invented it, and over 60 years later, it's the same sub they make today. Uncle John uh, wanted this sandwich, you know, and uh, yeah. uh, of course, uh, Miller's had theirs, um, but he wanted to make a big one. He wanted a 16 inch sub. And so he uh, researched everywhere, uh, went to Angelo Pacifico in Altoona, and yeah. Angelo said, we don't have a mold that can make that size roll. He said, well, let's work on a roll, let's work on that. So they did, uh, and we've been getting them since that 63, 62 year. Wow. Yeah. Uh, meat's the same, uh, bread's the same, everything's the same. Yeah. I don't, you know, if it ain't broken, if it ain't, if it ain't broken, don't fix don't it. Fix it right? Yeah. right. But it's really funny how we just kind of came right back in the town uh -huh. near where they had their house. Yeah. And there's a lot of similarities here as it was in the old store. Um, yeah. In a weird way, it kind of is, just feels right, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Kind of back to the roots. <laughs> What's that? Back to the roots. Get back to the roots. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really cool. And back to the service the way service should be. Yeah, uh, customer service. And yeah, my daughter Michelle works for me full time, and she does a great job with the customers out front. And she's the one that does all the social media. She's kind of grown up in it as well. We were, she was just ten whenever we started building the uh, place on Zion Road, and she's worked for me since she was fifteen, and she's thirty now. So. Wow. Yeah. That's well, a legacy, you know, it's, been, yeah. it's a family, family yeah. legacy. The survival of any business is difficult. From everyday challenges to the Great Depression, war and pandemics, Bonfados has come through it all. But almost exactly 100 years ago, their journey almost never got started when Guy Bonfado was brutally attacked on his grocery route. To say that business can be cutthroat is not just a phrase here. The Keystone Gazette from April of 1921 provides a detailed account of how two rival grocers delivered at the same time on East Lynn Street. The competitors already had unfriendly feelings toward each other for some time, and things took a bad turn. After they had some words, Guy was unpersuaded by the man's threats and went about his business. But when Guy's back was turned, the man jumped on him and cut him from his left ear clear down to his chin. Failing to cut his throat, he also stabbed and cut Guy multiple times, severing one of his arteries. Guy was rushed to a doctor and somehow managed to recover. The attacker was later found hiding in a chicken coop and was promptly taken to the Center County Jail. So he was recovering up there, and this is all told to me by my uncle John, and uh, this woman came in the, the, husband, the wife of the, the guy that attacked him came in, tried to get past my grandmother to go finish him off. Wow. And my grandmother kind of, she's only 4'11". She uh, got, you know, fought her way out of it or got her out of the store wow. and wouldn't allow her to get up there. So was, wow, that's, that's pretty <laughs> that's intense. Wow. That's pretty neat. <laughs>